Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with two personal boxes of 2018-19 Panini Donruss basketball for Rick Barker. Rick, thank you very much for getting into this. There are the two boxes right there. Let's see what we got. All right, box number one. Folks, we got we got some more in the store. If anybody wants to get a personal box, I feel like tonight would be a good night. Yesterday, super busy. Tonight, a little bit on the quieter side. So I think that would be make it a nice night for personal boxes. Trade deadline coming up at noon LA time. 3 o'clock Eastern, where does this guy go? It's just becoming increasingly unlikely that he'll end up with the Lakers, with my Lakers. A lot of games on the slate tonight. The, uh, the Bucks just manhandling the Wizards, 148 to 129 in Milwaukee. Pelicans beat the Bulls, 125 to 120. <coughs> Nets hang on to, to beat the uh, Nuggets, 135 to 130. They got outscored 43-27 in the fourth quarter. But they still beat the Nuggets by five. What are some other finals here? Mavericks beat the Hornets, 99-93. With two, uh, about three minutes left in the fourth quarter, Jazz up 110 to 86 on the Suns. Look, looks like the Suns are not going to cover. <laughs> All right. Now, two autographs per box. Rick, good luck. Here we go. Uh, we got a press proof, Bradley Beal. His teammate Otto Porter got traded today on this Wednesday, the night before the trading deadline. Maybe Brad does Bradley Beal go anywhere? If the Lakers are out on <laughs> if the Lakers are out on uh on Anthony Davis. I wouldn't mind someone like Bradley Beal. And yeah, nice. Look at this. Look at young Dennis Rodman right there. Significant signatures. The Worm, Pistons edition for Rick. Marcus Saul might be traded pretty soon, too. What's weird about the, the Lakers is that uh, well, all these kids that are on the trading block, right? And, now, do they get all butt hurt and they're like, ah, oh, no, no one wants? I don't know. We'll, we'll see how the team holds on, hangs on if these guys don't get moved. There's Jeff Teague, press proof. Nice rookies, Luka Doncic. Landry Shamit going to the Clippers. Tobias Harris going to the Sixers, which I think was a solid move for them.
Who did the uh, Rory? Who I don't know if Rory's still listening. Who did the Bucks add? I think the maker of Thons was traded, right? There's Eric Bledsoe out of 190. Oh, Stanley Johnson. That's right. They're Michael G's echoing Stanley Johnson as well. Um, do we do we like this trade or no? I guess Thon Maker wasn't happy, so. so you may, may as well get something. John Collins press proof to uh, 349. And we got the Suns' DeAnthony Melton as your second autograph out of this box. Significant signatures. There you go, Rick. Now let's see if we find any low-numbered parallels or something like that. It's a DeAndre Ayton press proof. Where is the number? No number, no number, but it's a press proof. All right, nice. Box two. Wow, the Suns are keeping it close for half a second, but no, Jazz pull away, 116.88. I had the Suns plus 15 and a half points. That was not enough. I also have the Sacramento Kings money line, but at the half, they're trailing big time, 76 to 45. Hmm, that's not good after my day started off so well. James Harden already has 25 points. Crazy. Is that right? Rick, Bar Rick Barker saying that Devin Booker is second to LeBron as the youngest to score 5,000 points and get 1,000 assists. Wow. Yeah, I think you were mentioning earlier, Rick, Suns have so much young talent that you got to think that, it, that it'll all click at some point. I think they thought maybe this season it could have clicked, you know? Maybe they thought DeAndre Ayton would just, yeah, he's been playing solid, but he would come out of the gate firing. Maybe with uh, Trevor Ariza has a good veteran presence, but it didn't quite work out. Maybe... Maybe Josh Jackson's second year hasn't been that great thus far, but they've got some pieces there. And you're always in the game when you got Devin Booker on the floor. So I don't, know, I don't think the Suns are too far off. Now Porzingis on the Mavs. That could open up a lot of doors for the Mavericks as well. There's press-proof Marshawn Brooks to 199. Well, it'll be interesting to see. Oh, is he? <laughs> I don't know. You don't. Is, is DeAndre Aiden averaging 17 and 10? I didn't think it was that much. Don't seem to hear a lot about him. Maybe it's because he's on a bad team then? I thought it was lower than that.
There's Robert Williams III, on-card autograph. What more do you want from a rookie, Rory? Asked. Chad's like Luca numbers. Maybe not let the Jazz score, you know, how about that? Maybe not let the Jazz score 37 points in the fourth quarter. Stop, stop them from doing that. A little defense. Yeah, those draft day autos are pretty cool. Robert Williams III could be interesting. I don't know where he could end up emerging on another team by tomorrow or the summer. Savi Mahalia got traded away uh, to the Pistons, I think, right? I think the Lakers got Reggie Bullock back, a nice outside shooter, I believe. Reggie coming back the other way. I think that'll be nice. Press proof, Kevin Garnett. Joe P's in the house. He's like, they're, yeah, they're not bad numbers, but he's just a little soft. I think, Joe P, you mentioned this at the beginning of the season. It's that defense that's hurting the, the, uh, the Suns. There's Denzel Valentine. I mean, I had I had the Suns plus 15 and a half today. And they were keeping it close for a lot of the game, but then you can't let the Jazz score 37 points in the fourth quarter. But there's Louis Dampier, do Hall Dominator autograph to 99. But... Should I just be betting Suns like first half? That'd be that'd be interesting. All right, Rick, there you go. There's your fourth and final autograph out of here. Thank you for grabbing those two boxes. Let's see what else we got here. No, but we were what we were talking about a little bit earlier, Joe and everybody else, is that they've got the young pieces though. You know, with Devin Booker, you're always you're always in the game. You can always score from anywhere. Right. If if. DeAndre Ayton can be can be make more of an impact in the paint, right? Make more of a defensive presence there. Another draft, maybe a solid free agent or two. That might be it. That might be enough, and you know, and then just kind of make sure everything kind of clicks. That could be it right there. Press proof, Kobe. James Harden is going off. Nice, Jaron Jackson Jr. will save one of those, too. There's a Luka Doncic rated rookie card. I'm sure those carry a lot of value. And there you go. Rick Barker, thank you very much for grabbing two boxes of 2018 Panini Donruss Basketball. We've got a few more in the store for personal boxes, and that's it. If you want to check it out, check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.